Hey, Leo. So, a message I was getting for you guys was somebody really regrets a ending with you. Now, of course, this could be a friendship, a relationship, whatever, but somebody regrets, like, having a falling out with you. And I was getting a strong air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I was getting strongly Gemini, but it could be anybody. Well, yeah, somebody is very much so thinking about you at this time. Also, I would like to give a thank you to all of my patrons who have joined and have gained access to those readings. Also, to everyone who has went and purchased a pair of lashes at jadeslashes.com. I always get so many compliments on my lashes and my makeup in general, so I do really appreciate you guys supporting me and that. Also, I would like to give a thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my other channel. Of course, I love the tarot, but I do a whole bunch of other shit over there as well. So if you'd like to check that out, the link is down below. So we do have the King of Pentacles energy here. I so see you guys being very focused on yourself, on your job, um, saving money, your financial stability. Of course, some of you guys may be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. I am also getting Cancer here as well with the Chariot energy. But a lot of you guys are focused on forward movement. Um, I also feel traveling as well. Some of you guys may be doing a little bit of that. But overall, I feel like this is forward movement in your career and um, with your business or whatever it is that you want to do. Now, we do have the Ace of Wands here. So I really feel a lot of you guys are really being creative right now, um, starting new creative projects, even possibly putting shit in order to get a business together or something like that. Okay. Eight of Swords energy. Okay. So that to me, that is like... In a way, I feel holding yourself back from something where you feel held back, like whether this is you holding yourself back or you feel as if somebody like could be someone that you're currently with, married, whatever, that is holding you back from doing something. I do feel a lot of you guys as well are having disagreements with someone about children. Maybe somebody wants to have children like in the relationship. Maybe someone's like not on the same page about that. So I do feel for some of you guys that may be something that you are dealing with. However, with the Hermit card energy here. For some reason, I'm feeling that somebody's holding you back from your true path or you feel as if somebody's holding you back from your true path. And of course, this could very much so be yourself. Um, but I really feel I'm just getting you feel stuck like you want to do all this and you want to make these moves, but you feel stuck. Some of you guys can be dealing with a Virgo with Hermit card energy here. What is the energy surrounding Leo? Ooh, five of cups. Yeah, that was that was the energy I was getting like when I was shuffling. Um, just on your guys' reading, I was getting the five of cups energy here a lot. So it is very sad. It's very upset, very depressed. Whether this is you or it's somebody close to you, but I feel that somebody is just very upset and regretful about a situation. I would do have the tower card here. So overall I feel like things are gonna change for you for the better. I definitely feel um, with this King of Pentacles and of course this Ace of Wands energy, I feel like you're going to have the per the push and like the motivation you need to not allow yourself and even this person to hold you back from doing whatever it is that you want to do or whatever you want to invest your time and your money into. It does feel very creative. And of course, you guys can be very focused on your job, career, whatever, but I feel like you guys are starting something new, wanting to do something um, with whatever skill you have, talent you have, whatever service you provide. I see you making money with this. Now, we do have the Five of Swords here. Now, I will say I like this. I don't like this. I will say I feel that, I don't know, maybe this person does not intentionally hold you back, but I do feel that they don't mind that they do. Like, I definitely feel the person that whoever this is, and of course, this could be a friend, family member, whoever, but I almost feel like this person tries to make you feel less than. And I don't know if you're definitely dealing with someone like this. This is this is not good. But for some reason, I gave that somebody is trying to make you feel less than. And now I will say with the King of Pentacles coming out as the very first card, I don't feel like it's working. Could be, of course, you guys being Leos, it is it's really hard to, you know, knock a Leo down. But I do feel like this person is trying. This could be a friend, this could be a family member, whoever. But someone is I feel like someone's trying to like knock you off your high horse a little bit. Like and I, it's like not necessary. I feel like they're doing this to like out of jealousy, they're doing this. So I feel like that could be something that is going on. So if you are dealing with like a friend group or even a relationship like that, do consider walking away. We do have the death card energy here because I feel like this person's very jealous of you, maybe jealous of what you have, your talents, um, or even like your friends or something like that. 
I don't know. The reason why I keep saying this could be a relationship that you're in is we do have the lover's card here. So I feel like this is somebody that you're very close to. Like, I don't know. Somebody, just, I feel like this person is just very jealous of you and they want to hold you back. That's just, that's shitty. Oh, hello. Okay, so we do have the King of Cups here and the Two of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you're not sure what to do, especially if this is someone that you're dating. I really see you not being sure what to do about the situation because with King of Cups energy, I feel like you have a lot of love for this person um, and vice versa. But it's almost like they're projecting their insecurities onto you and it could be holding you back a little bit or just making you feel a little bit weird about pursuing what you want to pursue or like maybe it's making you feel a little bit less confident about whatever it is and like they're doing that on purpose now i do want to clarify the five of swords for sure because that's why i'm kind of getting that energy to where someone is kind of knocking you down like i don't know why but i guess because they're jealous of you i don't know i don't i never understand why people do that but i really feel like somebody's doing that to you or somebody's gonna try to do that to you Ooh. okay oh okay so i'm also getting as well I feel like somebody's trying to control you. Now, of course, if that is not your message, do not take it. But I'm definitely feeling a very controlling vibe from someone. And I do think they're having a very hard time controlling you, of course. But um, I feel like somebody's trying. Like, I'm getting a lot of fives. Like, I just feel like somebody's trying to, like, change you. Like, because I'm getting over here very money motivated, very ready to move forward and quickly. I see you having a plan of action of what you want to do and you know exactly how you're going to do it. But it's like this person, it's almost like they kill your vibe. Like, I don't know how else to explain it, but that's like you're all ready for your day and shit. And then this person just kills your fucking vibe. So, what is the energy surrounding Leo? Ooh, yeah. Devil energy. This person's like sucking your energy. Okay, what was the reading I just did last? I think it was Pisces. Some of you guys may be dealing with Pisces because I was getting similar energy um, in their reading as well. But, um, mm -mm. yeah, no. I'm going to pull advice because I really feel someone in your life is trying to dim your light. The rest, what is the advice for Leo? Now, I'm definitely feeling the advice is to walk away from this or distance yourself from this friend or family member, whoever this is, because I see you moving forward and I see you being very abundant. Um, and you're definitely on the right path. With the Hermit card here, what you're doing and you're thinking about doing, starting, you are absolutely on the right path and this is going to lead you to absolute success. Um, but this person, I'm not going to lie, is going to be a major obstacle for you. Like, I don't think they're going to stop doing whatever this is like and it feels very little that they may do but it, i almost feel like it has a very big effect like oh yeah advice to leave death card energy so if you are dealing with a friend relationship whatever it is um advice is to let go i mean i know that's very hard to do of course but yeah i don't i don't like this person's energy whatsoever so I'm going to pull um, an oracle card for you guys. I do feel like these cards are just like advice on what to focus on at this time. Reverse, what is the message for Leo? Okay, hold on. Ooh, we have faith coming out. I did have a faith come out for another one as well. So do know, I almost feel like, I almost want to tell you guys, do not allow this person to kind of take this from you. Take your hope, take your faith, take your... Um, I guess I don't allow them to make you stop believing in yourself because I feel like this person believe in, believes in you a great deal. And I feel like they know you're going to be super successful in all of this. And this is exactly why they're trying to hold you back and dim your light. So do know, um, don't allow them to do this to you. Like if it takes leaving the relationship or whatever it may be, do not allow them to do this to you because they're doing it on purpose. So I do hope that this reading was helpful for you. If you would like a personal reading, you can visit my website at swordstarot.com and hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day.